let's make another challenge. If this video, for some reason, I'm gonna say a big number, gets 150 likes, I'm gonna do the same thing with Isengard. Challenge accepted. Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shanks and today we are gonna do the challenge between us and 7 Heart armies. We are gonna play Isengard against 7 Heart Rohans in BFMU1 on the patch 1.06. And obviously we are gonna be on the map Old Brownlands, which is an 8 player map. And hopefully, we're gonna be able to beat every single one of them. Before further ado, let's get it started. Wish me luck guys, wish me luck. It's gonna be a tough one. Hard armies all over the place. And every single one of them is Rohan, so it's gonna be a little bit harder for us to destroy the wall. But, I'm gonna try my best. Alright, so we're gonna start with two furnaces into the Uruk pit actually here. Uh, actually, I might cancel one of my Uruk pits, I mean furnaces, to go only one uh, for one Uruk pit and one furnace. And early on it's gonna be kinda tough. But I'm assuming if we can survive the early game, until we get our buildings to level 3, so every one of them is gonna act like a tower, we should be fine. Um, the thing is, we have only 160 command points available, so we need to be extremely careful, guys, with our command points choices. Gonna start with Urukai. Uh, to grab those two middles, uh, two mills, and then actually creep this goblin there uh, right after with the war chance buff from the spellbook. All right, I'm excited. That's the first try, by the way. I was never trying it before. <laughs> I hope it's gonna work out quite nicely. All right, that was a mistake to walk to this side. I should have walked to this side first and used one of the lumber mill workers. You know, sent him to this side and grab the mill with that lumber mill worker because I'm wasting time now and time is something we should not be allowed to waste in this one, guys. Alright, so we're gonna use War Chant here on our Urukai. This way they're gonna be tanky and I'm gonna actually ignore all the goblins and try to kill the lair first. I'm gonna use also the block formation to make them tankier. Uh, the Lumber Mills, we're gonna, you know, keep making some more workers for them. And they're gonna have a wood bonus, which means every building we're gonna build now is gonna be 10% uh, cheaper. I'm actually very worried about what's gonna happen in about a minute. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually go for one more furnace here, definitely. Alright, we're gonna get some money from this. I'm gonna invest the money into making one crossbow man. Alright, now we have the money. Uh, we need to make sure to not cash float too much. Alright, we were able to creep this, which is quite nice. Now we can check actually this area. Oh, Rohirrim already, guys. Can you imagine? This guy's smart, he's not even trampling. I can't beat them, unfortunately. I will have to make a tower here. Uh, because he might go and attack me very, very soon. We need some pikemen to deal with this Rohirrim for sure. And yeah, we need to make some pikemen. And I'm cash looting too much again. We need to make some furnaces. Uh, I want to keep the crossbowmen inside my base. Because they're going to get one-shotted by the enemy Rohirrim. We are getting some peasants now on the field. I can use them actually to, to deal with the peasants. But look at this. Oh, please don't do that. Please don't trample them down. Come on, come on. Oh. Mm, that's unfortunate. I need some berserkers now, guys. I can maybe try to group them with them. So, I don't know if this was a smart idea or not. This guy is just gate rushing me. He doesn't care about my towers. He doesn't care about my bees. He's going inside the jeans. Oh my god, that's gonna be hard. Need to make some more Berserkers here, definitely. To defend myself against these units. Luckily, he was not destroying my mill. I mean, that's something. So I'm gonna get some money. Uh, he's actually sending his units out forward immediately, guys. Which is pretty annoying. He's gonna kill all my Berserkers now, unfortunately. But our towers are doing a great job. Okay, we have now enough power points for the industry, which we need to use immediately to get some more money. I'm gonna make some more towers. This guy, he doesn't stop, guys. He keeps sending units forward all the time. Now I'm gonna try to save for Lords. Alright, I have now almost enough money for Lords. I'm actually happy that he doesn't kill my mill. So I'm getting money all the time. And he's feeding me now a lot of power points uh, with all the units. I will definitely skip uh, Rain and go for the Devastation first because I need a lot of money. We need lords, we need upgrades, we need army, we need so much. Okay, we can try to repair this with our lumber mill workers. 
Okay, now we can go for the upgrades immediately. I don't want to waste time. Use lords to get some power points or experience on the lords. As long as it doesn't upgrade, have upgrades or sending you know too many units forward, we should be fine. Now before making army, I want to make sure to actually you know first of all purchase all the upgrades from the armory. Come on, lords, shoot at them, please. Right, two shotting them, not a big deal. Lords, we need him to get level five to unlock his leadership. And again, you know, our meals are untouched for the majority of the time. We're gonna purchase all the upgrades from the armory and demolish it right after. Lord is all about to hit level 2. Level 3 is gonna unlock his carnage. And our opponent has no heroes. That's the annoying thing about Lords. When he gets attacked like this, you can see he can't shoot anymore. So we need to always switch to the sword mod. To actually make him... Oh, what? Okay. Look how much damage those archers are dealing to him, actually. That's crazy. Okay, level 2 unlocked. We need to get this one as well. And I have to disengage now. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. This mill is already level 3, though. That's quite nice. This furnace is also already level 3. And as mentioned at the beginning of the game, uh, once our buildings are level 3, we should be good to go. Because the furnaces are not only the tankiest... Uh, production of uh, resource buildings in the game alongside with the blacksmiths from the Gondor faction but they're also gonna be able to shoot and act like a tower but <laughs> this is annoying look at this what can men do against such a reckless saint i need to make a lot of berserkers now oh i was demolishing that a little bit too late come on berserkers help me out here uh, i'm gonna but you know what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna show you guys what you can do now in those kind of situations Oh, my lords, my lords, my lords. I wasn't paying attention. Please don't die. And you can see that yourself, right? The units here are a little bit stronger than in normal games. They are dealing much more damage, in my opinion. So look at this now, guys. We have two Urukai. But as mentioned at the beginning of the game, we have to be extremely careful with our command points, right? So what you can do in those kind of situations, you can always use the Bloodthirsty. Until only one unit is alive, and you can see every unit we kill with the Bloodthirsty. It's gonna favor us now. We have only one unit remaining with the Banner Carrier, actually two. Now we're gonna do the same situation also here. Just to make sure that they can respawn over time anyway. So we can this way extend the command point limit. Just gonna make sure that he doesn't kill the entire battalion, which is very important. Alright, beautiful. Now we can combine them, like this, and this way we can actually extend our command points and go over the command points cap. Okay, we need to definitely, oh wait a second, before giving them upgrades I would like to get Sar Saruman on the field. This way we can now make three combos at least. Beautiful. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna actually unlock the, I can't, unfortunately. I was thinking to unlock the Devastation from the Spellbook, but for that we have to first of all unlock the Balancium. Anyways, now we have three combos, uh, we need to make sure to upgrade them. We're gonna wait for Saruman and not waste any more time. Actually demolish this furnace in the backside and go for the Siege Forks. But I think we won't be able to make any Siege Weapons right now, because we will have no Command Points left, which is quite unfortunate. And yeah, we are obviously against only Rohans, and they have all walls, so they will definitely close the gate. So we will need some siege weapons to destroy the gate before we can get inside. Okay, so get upgrades first on our combos, make them stronger. They have no pikemen, but I think no pikemen are needed in this kind of situations, because we have Saruman, we have Warchant and Tainted Land. We have enough leadership in terms of damage, but also in terms of armor. Okay, all the upgrades purchased. Yeah, I need to now make sure to lose a couple of these units though. That's the unfortunate part about it. I'm gonna give them also blades, just why not. Lourdes has to stay in between the units, so that he can this way level up very fast. We can use fireball on these archers on top of the wall. Nice one actually, I was able to catch them as they were going downside. Uh, Drohan uh, towers. Look at Stilden, he's actually going ham. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the, to uh, the power of uh, Lourdes against his heroes. And he's gone there. And Lourdes is level 5 now, which is huge, by the way, because that's gonna unlock our leadership. I wanna just make sure to lose a couple of my units here to the towers. This way I can at least make one uh, ram and break the wall from this dude. 
If we go back, they're gonna respawn over time. And we have to keep this ram alive no matter what. Luckily, the ram only costs us five uh, command points, but you can also, also see we are already command points kept. So we need to keep losing more and more units. They have so much leadership now, I'm gonna also use the speechcraft to level them up. Look, the Steodin. <laughs> Look, Eomir, let's kill Eomir as well. We're gonna die in a second, and we are leveling up like crazy. I mean, Saruman is giving us, you know, combat experience, 100% combat experience means that our units are able to level up twice as quickly. And look at this, they have no chance. They have no upgrades, they have no leadership, they can't withstand the damage of the mighty Urukai. Gimli! <laughs> alright, alright, I see you, Gimli. The one man army. Berserkers against Gimli, let's go! Show match, but he's so tanky, guys. He's so tanky. I mean, he's not killing our Berserkers, which is gonna be a mistake. Okay. We can actually make now one more, or maybe get some. No, we're gonna make more uh, ramps. Kill this unit here. And then break one part of the wall so we can get inside the Rohan base. And we have to be fast because we have nothing in our base to protect ourselves. Yes, every furnace beside this one in the backside is already level 3. And we have a great amount of defense. Again, the furnaces with level 3 have uh, 6500 HP. They are quite tanky. We need to make sure to protect this ram. If not enough power points for devastation. I mean, I think we have no more problems with the money anyway, right? But after destroying the space, I would like to buy it. Don't lose the ramp, please. It's important to keep it alive. Lord is leveling up like crazy. We're gonna just go inside. And I think we won't be forced to use... I'm gonna just use Warchan, why not? Just to make sure that we can kill everything faster. Triple Gimli. Take him down. Okay. So we have one more ram, and now I think we can get some uh, mines on the field. Actually, Legolas is kind of also. He has all the heroes on the field, Eomir, everyone. The little towers are actually destroying us, guys. Kinda. I'm gonna try to focus down only the building so we can, you know, make sure that we can defeat this before the towers are gonna destroy us, because the Warchan buff is gonna disappear very soon. Yes, even uh, some reinforcements from his ally. Oh, we have to send this unit back, actually. We can. And Saruman was not even there, that's why they were so weak. Just kill. And this is the good thing, you know, we can now save one of our combos, level 7 almost. And he's gonna respawn over time, which is pretty nice. Just focus on the buildings, please. I'm gonna just take the control of these uh, peasants and use them to kill the base here. Kill Eowyn. Alright, and just focus down now to kill the last stable inside the space. Beautiful. Now one of our opponents has already been defeated, which is quite nice. Legolas is here, uh, but he shouldn't be able to do much. Okay, beautiful. And these units are gonna respawn over time. And this way, like mentioned before, we can actually extend the command point limit. So we can have more units than we are actually allowed to. I'm gonna wait here a little bit. One of our combos is even level 10, that's the maximum rank. I'm gonna make some towers, definitely some furnaces, because furnaces are way, way tankier than slaughterhouses. Beautiful. Can make one more combo at least. I'm gonna wait until a couple of these units are respawning. And whenever it's available, we can also use the speechcraft to level up our units. Obviously this one, because this one is already max rank. Beautiful. Okay, Legolas is actually outranging our tower. Uh, which is... I don't like it. But he died to the... To the... <laughs> oh, Theodin, please stop killing my mines. What is going on with you? What's wrong with you, Theodin? Look this King of Rohan, guys. The former King of Rohan and the actual King of Rohan after Theoden's death. Okay. Uh, but it's not a big deal. We should we should just make some more mines, I guess. The space is also in safety. Uh-oh. Ants are coming up, guys. Ants are coming up. But we can we can actually kill them very fast. Uh, I'm gonna use Warchant here just to make sure to kill them. I, I wish this would deal some more some, some damage to the ants as well, but that's not being the case. 
When you want to kill the ants, you want to focus them one by one. Oh, 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 don't trample. Oh, he's actually making a mistake with the rocks. And they are raging like this, you can... Look at this, they are getting one-shotted. We have so much damage now. Loots... Oh, oh, this guy is hitting hard. I don't... What's, what's happening? I can't attack this ant for some reason. I'm almost... No, we need to first of all pick either rain or this. And then we're gonna skip the field of fires and try to go for Badrock immediately. This guy is getting ants like in seconds. What's going on? He's cheating. And I'm not able to attack them. Use fireball maybe? Kill this ant mode, please. This ant mode is gonna go down. Fireball should be... Yeah, it's gonna... It's enough actually. Beautiful. Aragorn. Their command points kept once again. Look how many ants he was able to recruit from this ant mode. And more of them are coming. Look at this, guys. <laughs> What's going on? Triple this, please. Holy quackamole, the ants are going to war. Just like in the movie, they wanna they wanna kill us. They are gone now. Gimli should be the next target. Uh, Aragorn is still... Oh, this is Elmia. Okay. I'm gonna try to get some power points from this area by using the second army. He's going for end smooth once again. I'm gonna use Freezing Rain. I think it doesn't matter anything at this stage of the game because they have no leadership, guys. But this guy is just spamming ends in front of our base. Okay, be careful. Our warm tongue is on cooldown. We have to make sure to kill this end mood really quickly. Alright. Kill this ant before he can kill us. Oh, Saruman is face tanking. Oh, oh, Legolas, be careful. We have to disengage him a little bit. Alright, I mean, the Rohirrim, they can't hurt us at this stage of the game. We have too much tankiness. And the rain is... Act oh, oh, he's gonna trample. We have to be careful. We need to kill the ant first, who's about to... Look how much damage he's able to deal to us. In the meantime, Gimli is kind of annoying me. I don't want to lose my highly leveled combos, though, especially the level 10 is level 10 is very important. In the meantime, we have a second army, you know, moving from this side. But we have no buff for them available. Kill this end, please. Legolas is also inside the jeans. Kill Legolas right after, before he kills our units. Alright, Aragorn is also there. More ends are coming from the ends mood. I don't know what's going on. But I think... Oh my god. <laughs> Run for your lives, fools. This guy is spamming ants all over the place. I can't believe it. It's, it's Look how fast they are. It started so easy as well, but now it's so hard. Devastation is not dealing damage to them. That's very unfortunate. We have we are only two power points away from getting the Balrog unlocked. We're gonna group with our units. Um, and actually, wait a second. Let's go like this. Um, kill Aragorn first, just why not? Gonna use this a little bit to send to this side of the map because I would like to save this battalion of units. We need to kill the ants here, definitely. Use War Chant to kill the ants mood faster and to kill the ants faster. And he's sending more ants, I can't believe it. Gonna use Fireball on this guy. This way he's gonna take damage over time. We have to kill this end before he kills our Saruman. Because he's getting more and more ends from all the end moods. I think he has like five. And there is also three beard. I can't believe it. Holy guacamole, guys. Holy guacamole. But we have Balrog now. Look, the, ma the march of the ends. Did you ever see so many ends at the same time? Luckily, our combos all ends also from this side. <laughs> Oh no, be careful combos. Dodge. Nice. You dodge. You you keep moving. Uh oh uh oh uh oh. Alright, alright. Kill, 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 kill. Kill the other guy before he actually destroys us. And another end mood is coming up, guys. Another end mood is coming up. I think I should just stop making combos and make some crossbowmen instead, maybe. Maybe that's the way to go. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna use Balrog. Look this, please. End moods end mood all over the place. Alright, fly inside. We're gonna use Ignite as we are flying inside. 
beautiful. And I killed the Zitter first. He's closing the gate and hoping for the hoping for the best. I'm gonna use breath fire right there. Hopefully we will be able to kill all these three buildings. Nice one, beautiful. Can fly again. Use ignite once again. I, I want. I'm actually curious what's going on here. Yeah, nothing good. We need to disengage definitely. Kill this first, please. Okay, kill this next. We might not be able to kill the base though, if, because I was not paying attention for a single second. Should be able to kill it in mid-air? No. I will actually be forced to use breath fire against the gate, to break the gate at least, you know? I'm gonna send this also to this side. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get inside this base and finish him off. I'm just gonna ignore all the ants. Wait a second, I have an idea, guys. Fight for me, ants. Saruman don't... Oh, this ant almost one-shotted my Saruman just like that. Can we ignore them, though? That's the question. I don't think so, but we're gonna try. Saruman is in safety for now, at least. We need to make some more crossbow man, definitely. But we are command points kept once again. And he killed our siege wards. I'm gonna just go inside, ignore everything, try to finish the base before he can repair the wall. I mean, the gate. Saruman is healing up, that's good. He was able to repair the city already. Just gonna focus on the buildings. And I use even the carnage from Lords against the well. We have to kill them before they can make more ends, you know, that's very important. Alright, that's good. And this Rohan has been defeated as well now, right? But these are not even his ends. That's from his ally. Oh, oh. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Make some more towers. Buy this base. Kill this end. I think we're gonna lose this base, guys. I think we're gonna lose this base. I need to send reinforcements here as soon as possible. Kill this, please. Gonna make double Uruk pit, but the problem is we are command points camp. It's not about our money. We have so much money. But the problem is we are not able. This is intense game, guys. And I lost my Saruman. I was not paying attention. Uh, I need to revive him. Make Siege Works once again. His ends are annoying, really. Our left level 10 combo, though. Kill, 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 kill. This Tibet. He's angry. This guy is angry. I don't want to lose my level 10. He's the most important one in this situation. Okay, we destroyed this end smooth, luckily. But again, we are command points camped. That's the big problem that we have. Our level 10s are able to look this tree beard. Kill him, please. We can. Doesn't care about the damage of our arrows. They are pretty much immune against damage beside against any damage beside from uh, either lamin mill workers. And we kill him though. Tribia is a little bit tankier. We have to be careful. We have no armor yet. So we need to be disengaging. Wait a little bit. Kill this. Okay. Right, we were able to save the space at least for now. We have some level 10 units there, obviously. They should be fine. I don't like this positioning at all here. We need to put fire on every single one of them before they can charge. Like this, and then kill the one who's the closest. Pretty much as you can see. That's the way you want to play that. Oh god. Oh, in a choke point, I don't, I don't like to be in a choke point like this. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we need to definitely make some more crossbow, man. That's the thing what we need to do. Luckily, our Balrog is almost back up. He, killed, he destroyed our Citadel once again, but we were able to save the base. So we have three bases now. We are in kind of a good spot, I guess. Just kidding. He's about to destroy our Uruk pits, which would be the worst thing. Focus this Rohirrim instead of the ants with the arrows. Alright, we have our Balrog up once again, so we can de definitely do it. I'm gonna use Vision of Palantium. And then use Balrog right there. I have all the power points now unlocked from this level as well. We're gonna fly inside. And as we are flying, we're gonna use Ignite to not lose any time. 
that was interesting, guys. Did you see what happened? I'm gonna use breath fire here just to be able to destroy the gate. That's what I'm gonna do. And then go inside with my army. Alright, we were able to destroy this one as well, which is quite nice. And that is another end smooth we need to destroy now with this army. I have to micro immediately, guys, because. Um, yeah, we are not allowed to lose our armies because, as you can see, we are under pressure 24 7. Saruman is back in the business. We're gonna use Warchan, which is on cooldown, so we can use it, unfortunately. Alright, kill the armory first. Warchan is gonna use. I'm gonna use it on this units. We're gonna use Breath Fire, hopefully, one more time. Kill this farm if you can. That is Saruman when we need him. He's here, use Fireball on this dude actually try to pressure from this side i'm gonna kill this end mode uh, only one farm remaining i'm gonna ignore the units and try to kill the farm instead beautiful so one more rohan has been defeated which is great uh, i'm gonna follow this units and buy this base and not stop they can actually keep moving forward even though i would like to leave this one in the base until he will be able to recover a little bit um, this base is kind of empty still. I hope he's not gonna make end mood once again behind our base. Alright, so let's move with this unit and this unit forward. And we're gonna use Lourdes and this level 10 combo to move from this side of the map. Okay. Oh, nice. So look what we were able to do now, guys. Uh, I'm gonna use one of the crossbow men to actually make it bump. This mine I was able to sneak before. Can we do it? I guess we can. Boom. Nice. So we can now actually group for this base because now we can go inside of this one. I think that's going to be the plan. We need to make some furnaces here. And some towers, definitely. We have some protection to keep this base under our control. Alright, so we can maybe try to, go, try to go inside. But we need to kill the end first. That's very important. Okay. Do speechcraft here, just why not? Kill Theorin, nice. We need to kill the towers though. Kill Eomir, <laughs> this guy is following us. I didn't even pay attention. We should be dying quite fast now though. There we go, beautiful. And remember, we have one level 10 combo recovering at this side of the map. And he actually went for end mood once again. End mood all over the place. We need to use war chance here. That is Saruman when we need him. He's here. Lourdes is joining the battlefield as well. Kill this tower first. We can go inside the jeans right after. We have now a, a lot of combos around this side. With Lourdes and Saruman, we should be good to go. Triple this Aragorn before he kills everything. But if we have so much leadership now, look what's gonna happen to Aragorn, yes. Even with Blade Master. I mean, he has no Unduril, but still. Go for a beautiful wizard blast by wizard Saruman. Beautiful, nice one. Can we take it down though? I mean, he has still so many units around this side, which is gonna make it kind of hard for us. But I guess we have strong combos. Uh oh, kill this end. I'm just gonna ignore everything and try to kill this base as soon as possible. I mean, it's kind of annoying that this guy is spamming ends only, you know? Look at this. What can you do against such a reckless saint? Okay. Need to be careful with lords. I don't want to lose him. Kill the buildings only. I want to use lords to give leadership to the army. I hope he's not going to use Hoax Dragon. Can you imagine? He's using Hoax Dragon on our Legolas. I mean, on our lords. Oh, he's going to kill lords. <laughs> Alright, can we, can we finish off this base though? That's the question, guys. Please protect the base around this side. Okay. Another Rohan player has been defeated. Beautiful. Oh, our le level 10 combo. Can we save him? Would be nice to save him. It's Legolas, though. He's killing everything, guys. He's killing literally everything. I'm gonna try to buy the base and run for my life with uh, Saruman. Uh oh. <laughs> During all this time, we are getting some more combos. We need to kill this ants. Gonna make some towers here. If we can, please don't destroy our base before that happens. Gonna make some keep towers here. We have so much money. Money is not a problem, but we need to keep these bases under our control if we can, of course. 
and yeah. he's actually going for more int moves, man. I'm actually gonna go for a sneaky move right now, guys. Watch, I'm gonna spam Lumber Mill workers to kill this ants. 50 workers. Alright, look how many ants he has. We need to revive, but every base of us is under attack. I don't know what's going on. And we lost Sauron for some reason. Make more crossbow man, please. Look how much damage they're gonna be. Look how many ants he has. That's crazy. Alright, I'm gonna ignore everything. Hopefully, we will be fine around this side. We're gonna, loot, we're gonna use uh, Balrog once again. And try to finish off this base as well. Okay. I'm gonna give Fire Arrow upgrades first. Kill this, please. I've never seen that many ants on the field at once. This is not fun. This is not fun. Breath fire. Fly. Use breath fire during the fly. I have to be watching pretty much everything right now. We have to kill this as well. Okay. Fly one more time. Use knights while flying. Yeah, please kill. Okay. Can we do it? I guess we can. Alright. I'm waiting for the breath fire, you know? Come on. Please. Oh. <laughs> no way. This is annoying. Look how many ants still. This is unbelievable. We lost our Uruk pit as well. Lord is back in the business. That's something at least. Uh, but we have nothing left anymore. Kill this end move, please. I'm gonna use definitely this one here. Uh, our base here is also not looking very great. We need to keep making more crossbow men, I'm assuming. Because the main army of our hard opponents are pretty much ants all the time. So, kinda hard, kinda hard. And we were not able to destroy that, unfortunately. We were not even... I was so confident that we could be taking down this castle with Balrog only, but... Uh, I cancelled a couple of a couple of auto attacks from Balrog, unfortunately. And then we were not able to use Breathfire in time. Can I make some more crossbow men here as well? Uh, this Rohan... I'm actually curious if he was able to buy the base or not. I don't know. Please. Kill this first. Fireball this Gimli so he can fly away a little bit. No, he's not flying away. I'm gonna kill the Rohirrim first here before killing Gimli. Gim Look this end. As he's falling on the ground, killing like almost everything. Okay, we need to keep now from keep moving now from this side. And we need to now try to kill this ends mood. I think there is an ends mood there as well. I'm not sure, but there is an ends mood here, okay. Okay, this base is also almost going down. Alright. Please. There is no ends mood here, okay? We need to kill this ends mood then. And use a couple of these crossbow men to kill this ends mood there as well. And then I move from this side. And hopefully gonna find a end smooth also around this side and he's just building more and more end smooth all, all the time which is very very annoying kill Legolas please this guy is destroying us he killed our Saruman for some reason use carnage to kill Legolas okay <laughs> <laughs> Use ram to kill the ends mood. <laughs> no, we couldn't do it though. I think this base is kind of doomed as well now. I'm assuming. I'm not sure if we can save it or not. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't feel like I was able to destroy four of them. It's still so hard. Norm uh, when I was playing with Gondor guys, it was so easy, right? But this guy is just making more and more ends. I don't like to see them anymore. Please be gone from my screen. It's time to stop. Come on, good. Uh, 
I mean, our Balrog is gonna be up very soon, I'm assuming, so it's kinda okay. Ah, uh, we lost Lords as well, just why not? I was kinda, kinda getting tilted now, guys, not gonna lie. Kinda getting tilted. Need some reinforcements here as soon as possible. We need to rebuild this, make more, make more units. Alright, so we need to keep moving from this side now as well. Beautiful. And I'm actually curious if he was buying this base. No, he was not buying this base yet. Maybe I can sneak some of my berserkers to buy this base for myself. But I don't think it's gonna be enough because he has some units protecting this. Kill this, please. Kill this ants before they destroy everything here. Right, kill this end mood. Oh, he destroyed our Uruk pit. Are you kidding me? With the last possible attack? Oh, that's annoying. Need to make more Uruk pits. They are getting more crossbow men on the field from this double Uruk pit 24 7, though, which is not bad. Oh, maybe I can buy this? Nice. I was able to buy this. Destroy this one next. Lose war chance here. And tainted land so they lose leadership if you can. Saruman is back in the business. Use Saruman's fireball to destroy this end smooth finally. Make some towers here before he destroys this. Like, let's go like this. Beautiful. This guy is using knife fighter. You wanna take down my fortress once again? No, no, no. This is not gonna happen this time, my friend. Are we winning this fight though? Uh, okay, so let's try to make some more units from this Uruk pit as well. Beautiful. I'm gonna wait for the vision of Palantir. Uh, so I can use my Balrog once again on this base here. This is the most annoying thing in the universe. Wait a second, I have an idea guys. Okay. Fight for me. Oh, nice. I was able to take every single one of them. Kill this. <laughs> I'm turning the ends against against Trivia himself, guys. It's a 4 versus 1 situation. Alright, so we can now charge and try to defend this base as well. I'm actually going to be forced to go to this side. Um, yeah, I need to bring, bring my crossbow man also to this side. But first of all, we have to kill this end mode. Okay, Vision of Palanti is back. We can definitely use it one more time. I'm gonna try to finish off the base with Balrog all alone. That's my challenge now, guys. Right, can we do it? One base is a little bit trickier than the Wonder Base. Wonder Base is so much more easy to destroy, I guess. Come on, use my fire. Nice. I'm actually gonna kill this level 3 farms first. One hit should be enough, right? Yeah, there we go. Now it should be easy, I'm assuming, right? Hopefully. One more auto attack. Fly right after. It should be enough. I don't need the auto attack anymore. I think it's enough now. Yeah, it should be enough. Alrighty, can you use breath fire one more time? Okay, so I need to buy the space now, but I, I don't have any units to send forward. I have. Okay, let's send them forward here. Tarmon died once again, we need to revive him once again. We have some units here though, which is quite nice. And I try to just reach the space. He lost the space once again to the ends, can you imagine? I mean, you have to imagine, I guess. Uh, kill this. Save the level. Save the level eight if you can. Make towers only here. Some keep towers as well. All right, all right, all right, all right. Got in a safe spot. Uh, okay, so we need to now deal with these ends. I'm gonna use Borchan on my. Oh no, no, okay. We are already gone. Luckily, he's not building an end smooth guys for us. It's very lucky. 
The air command points kept 24-7 though, and this base is not building up for some reason. With a lot of crossbowmen here as well. Kill this Rohirrim though first, if we can. Nice. Oh, there is another end mood coming up. Okay. Alright, Aragorn is just face taking his arrows like a madman. And we are getting attacked from ends once again. I hope Saruman will be there in time. I hope so. So he can potentially do something to save today. Because I don't want to keep losing uh, my buildings. I mean, my bases like this. Kill this end smooth there if he can. So this base has to be open, right? It's open, so we can kind of take it, right? And I think that's going to be also the case now. I'm going to send my lords plus the crossbow man to this side. You have to kill this unit, or this Aomiya in this case, and then kill this end mode right after. Because if we don't do that, we're gonna just keep losing our bases all the time. Kill this, please. Triple this guy down. Use your sword for the carnage. Buy this base. Kill this end mode. That's the plan. Oh, Gimli, Aragorn, the gang, the fellowship is coming. And make more and more towers here. Yeah? This guy is using leap attack like a madman. Wait a second. Oh, we are we don't have money anymore. I didn't see that coming. But we will have money problems. Of course, we have money problems because we keep losing the bases all the time. Uh, yeah, gonna make some towers definitely here. I hope we will be there in time. Please defense with the help of the lords plus the crossbow man. We have to make some more furnaces, I'm assuming, right? If we are able to destroy this end mode, which is quite nice. He was using AOD, by the way. Where is Saruman when we need him? Saruman is here. We will need him around this side. Okay. Aragorn is so tanky. Okay, we need some assistance here. Definitely. We have some crossbowmen also here doing nothing. We can send them to this place. And we can just keep them around this side. For now, I'm just gonna give them fire upgrades. We have to go to this. We have to go to this side to deal with this ants before they destroy our base. Okay, there is a farm. There is a farm. So I'm not. I don't want. I don't want to destroy these farms, guys. <laughs> by the way, the reason why I don't want to destroy them is move to this side, please. Ah, he's gonna potentially destroy my base. I'm just gonna ignore that, I guess, and I'm gonna use Balrog this time around this side. We have not enough units left anymore. I don't know why I was war chanting them. Maybe it's gonna be enough to deal with these ends. I don't know. Now we're gonna build more furnaces. Alright. Use fireball here against this dude, maybe. Alright. Use swarm tongue against this dude. And use this dude to kill this end boat. What's the plan? Looks like he doesn't want to destroy his own end mode. He can't attack it for some reason. Okay. Alright, they're gonna use Vision of Balance here. Just don't want to waste time. Uh, there has to be the gates. There we go. Use Balrog right after. Let's hope that Balrog is gonna be enough all alone to destroy this castle. Wait a second. Come on, fly. Fly! Oh, come on. Please stunt back now. Oh, it was... We lost so much time here, unfortunately. He has triple stables, guys. Oh, that's gonna be a bad breath fire. If I'm not gonna be... Ah, that's gonna be a horrible breath fire. I should have cancelled it. Nah, never mind. Actually, it was kinda okay. I misclicked. Time matters a lot when you control Balrog, guys. Time is the most important thing. Balrog. Look, I'm not able to... Target this. Okay. Use Ignite one more time. It's gonna be really close. Could use Breath Fire right there. This is gonna be enough. Yes, it's gonna be enough. I can't believe it. He's defeated. <laughs> Beautiful. He has to be defeated, right? Yeah, the Heart Army has been defeated, which is huge. I like it. 
This space is kind of empty to me. I don't know what's going on. Uh, use fireball against this. Lords, you don't care about this guy, please. Just come here, use your carnage, and kill this ant mood. That's what you are supposed to do now, please. Can he take it down though? Nah, I don't think so. Use uh, industry here. We have now no money problems anymore, I guess. We have lots of money. Uh, this base is also in a safe spot now, which is nice. We have lots of crossbow men around this side, I think. We are actually getting back into the game. Okay, never mind. This guy is just 1v1ing one -one my lords. And getting more ants on the field. I can't believe it. Guys, please stop. Stop it, Rohan. Oh, my heroes, I don't want to lose them once again. Okay, I, I'm not too worried about these units. The only units I'm worried about are definitely ants. You have to get them to this side. One, two, three, four, five, six bases we have. Only two more to go, I guess. Uh, come here. All of you. Let you stay here. They're bugging, kind of, right? Look, they are not able to move. I'm gonna destroy this. Maybe this is gonna make it. What's happening? They're bugging. I don't know. Not able to move with them for some reason. Which is quite unfortunate because that's the majority of my army, kinda, right? Okay. It's fine, it's fine. Right. Kill this, please. We have a lot of crossbowmen now. I'm not too worried about this tree build anymore. We can use this crossbowmen to kill this ant there as well. And build some more furnaces. Alright, kill this tree build. Kill this. And then that, I think that's the way to go, right? I think we need to just make crossbow men no combos because our command points are kind of limited. And when you just make crossbow men instead of combos, you can make more of them. Obviously. I am not able to move with these units though. I'm gonna try something. Maybe it's gonna work, maybe it's not gonna work. We shall see. But he has still more ants coming. I don't know where they're coming from. But he's gonna be gone very soon. Alright, so we can keep moving now to destroy... Pro I think there is a... In smooth there as well. I'm gonna take it down. Let's see. Yeah, this is working. Okay, I can send them inside the slaughterhouse. And this way I can actually clean my command points a little bit. I was only able to send one of them inside though. Not all of them, which is unfortunate. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, there is not even an in smooth. I'm actually curious. Oh, wait a second. I know where they are coming from. We can split them at this point. We have too many of them. I wanna just check the settlements if there is an end smooth or not. Okay, move forwards there. We have also a couple of crossbowmen, actually one battalion only in this space at the bottom right side. Look at this farms. Uh, this the bad thing here is that that these units are bad against trample. But now they have war chant plus they decline, they have a lot of tankiness. They should be fine, I'm assuming. Okay, Balrog is almost back up. Uh, I can't afford to make any siege weapons now, so we're gonna just wait until the Balrog. You can, we can use, uh, join this army with our heroes. I'm going to use Balrog here at this base. Alright, so we're gonna fly inside, and as we are, are flying inside, we need to use Ignite. That's how, the way you wanna do it. Because this way, this way he will ignite himself the second he lands, so you don't lose any time. And as mentioned a couple of times, time matters a lot here. You should be able to kill those three buildings. And then you need to choose either side. We're gonna focus now on the right side. And because your fly has basically no cooldown, you can keep flying all the time. If you land on top of the building, you will also deal damage to the building. Watch now. And every time you fly, you can always use Ignite the second you the second before you land. Alright. Kill this. And I think we should be now good to go, right? Refine here. I think it should be hitting both of them, hopefully. Yes. And this one has been defeated as well. Which is nice. And we are victorious, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. The challenge accomplished. Let me know if you want to challenge me once again. But you could you see what happens if you do, guys. Isengard against seven heart Rohans. Not a big deal. Actually, I'm lying. It was a big deal. I was... Oh, 
it was kind of tough dude to fight against so many ants i think in this game guys we have at least killed like 1000 ants so far let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make another challenge for you guys thank you guys so much for watching thank you for the huge support for leaving a like on these videos and if you are looking for more content like this in the future please don't forget to leave a like on this video again and subscribe for more content like this uh, again thank you for watching i see you next time until then take care of yourselves and as always stay beyond standards peace guys